fellows. Uh, I want to compliment Werner on his presentation the other day. Very well done. I think there were a few things left out, however, that I'd kind of like to cover with you. And we'll try to do it quickly, but thoroughly. So to begin with, there's some commonalities between all pet urine that we'll be addressing. And those are primarily urea, creatine, sodium, uric acid, and then the prote proteins, enzymes, lipids, and other biologicals that we have to deal with. I think there is some fallacy in the understanding of what goes on with these ingredients or chemicals that we treat and sometimes treat the wrong way. For instance, creatine, sodium, and uric acid are completely odorless. They don't contribute in order to the problem. So. So we're not worrying about those as far as odor control. What is odor, what does create odor is urea and the other constituents in the contamination. sodium are readily water soluble. We could clean these completely out of the carpet with just a detergent solution if we could reach every fiber and into the padding, etc, etc, which we're unable to do, but they are water soluble. So those we can just simply wash away. <clears throat> the problems that we have are with urea and these biologicals that are in the urine. If we could wash the urea away completely, we wouldn't have to address it. But that's where we come to. Why did we choose peroxide over sodium chloride or another oxidizing agent? Peroxide readily breaks down the biologicals. And, and, and very quickly. And this is demonstrated by when you use the USR or OS1 and you see a real aggressive, uh, aggressive foaming taking place. That's the reactivity between the peroxide and the, excuse me, these ingredients. Another reason that we chose the peroxide was because of its ability to dramatically enhance the performance of the cleaning, cleaning agents. In addition to that, our peroxide will break down the urea relatively quickly, and it breaks the urea into Carp carbamide peroxide, which is used by the dentist to clean your teeth or to treat canker sores. It also attacks uric acid. Uric acid is basically insoluble in water, insoluble in any cleaning solution, 
insoluble in acids and most bases. It's only soluble by enzymatic action and it is partially soluble with peroxide, which is another reason we chose the peroxide. And <coughs> excuse me, that becomes car <coughs> excuse me. That, that becomes a, a uh, that becomes an acid that can be used in pool water to stabilize the pool. Now, if we can rinse most of these out of the carpet, but we can't rinse them out of the padding or the backing of the carpet as well as we'd like to, they can still create a problem for us. So in our formulation, we put together polymers that will encapsulate, and they will encapsulate the as opposed to other oxidizers that we could have chosen. And if you have any questions on this, I'd be happy to answer them. We did have one question actually okay. about um, whether or not it's safe for pets to walk on the carpet after they've used the product. 